Charanan, charanan, charane. I was looking for lemongrass in the supermarket and I found this instead of yeah, lemongrass, you know, the fresh. Um, I like it. It tastes really good and it will last me. I do use this quite a bit, so I bought it. But if you don't, don't even worry about the lemongrass in this recipe, okay? You can always replace it if you want. You can substitute it with a little bit of lemon zest. But this has so many flavors in it, I wouldn't worry about it. As for the ginger, Trader Joe's has this one, which makes life very easy. It was not expensive and also will last. But you can uh, use grated fresh ginger for this, uh, for this recipe instead, okay? In this pot, I have a tablespoon of coconut oil, about half a cup of finely chopped onion, about a cup of red bell pepper, which I cubed, a half a teaspoon of that lemongrass that I showed you, and a teaspoon of ginger. Oh, and four garlic cloves. You know, this is a soup. It doesn't matter. That is not exact. And if you want to use vegetable oil, go ahead. I'm going to add a tablespoon of red curry paste and a teaspoon of brown sugar. Obviously, this is not an authentic recipe. This is how I make this soup, and I love it. I'm going to add half a cup of basmati rice, which I washed. And I'm going to add four cups of water. You can use vegetable broth if you want. And I'm going to add coconut milk. That is a 403 milliliter can, 13 ounces. We're gonna add a tablespoon of fish sauce. Here's the thing with the fish sauce, if you don't wanna buy it, you don't have to. If you wanna veganize this soup, you can forget, of course, the fish sauce and the shrimp. All right, we're gonna bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 minutes before we continue. 10 minutes have gone by. Now we're gonna add about half a cup of string beans, which as you can see, I quartered, cut up into pieces. This is more like a cup, actually. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. I want the rice to cook, and I don't want the green beans to turn into so a soggy mess. This is 20 minutes. Hey, by the way, if you're in high altitude like La Paz, this might take a little longer, okay? I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. And I'm going to add about half a pound of shrimp, which has been deveined and shelled. This will take minutes to be ready. You don't want to overcook that shrimp. As soon as it turns, you know, dark pink, we're turning off the heat. All right, when the shrimp starts changing color like this, turn off the heat. It will continue cooking in the hot broth. You don't want to overcook it. I'm going to squeeze half a lime in here. And I'm going to add about a half cup of chopped cilantro. And we're going to serve. Taste it for salt and see if you need to adjust. Let's eat. Oh my gosh. We have a soup that is full of nutrition here. It's nice and thick. So, you know, a bowl of this, very satisfying. If you want to go lighter on the rice, uh, you know, and more shrimp, go ahead. Uh, like I said in the description box, you can veganize this soup, forget the shrimp, use Japanese eggplant, for example. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh, this is really tasty. The string beans are not soggy. The shrimp is cooked to perfection. So is the rice. Very nice, very nice soup. We have all those flavors in there. Excellent, and it, you know, well, it has some prepping, but cook time, pretty fast. Delish. Hey,